The last few years saw a plethora of discoveries on different sites in Egypt. But this one in Alexandria is different. It's underwater. A 13-meter vessel sank after being damaged by huge blocks of the famed Temple of Amun. When it was totally destroyed, during a strong earthquake in the 2nd century BC. The ship was detected under nearly 5 meters of hard clay, mingled with remains of the temple. Experts say finding lost treasures underwater is not an easy feat. The toughest archaeological work is not in the desert, but underwater. You have limited time and capabilities to work underwater. You have to work the proper sophisticated equipment for underwater excavations. For example, there is a coffin of King Menkaura near the Spanish coast. It is still there, but very expensive to extract because it is so deep under the ocean. We need a lot of heavy equipment underwater that is either not available or very costly. Finds of a rapid ship of this age remains extremely rare. Hellenistic ships of this type were completely unknown to archaeologists, and this discovery could answer a lot of questions. We are always very happy to discover a sunken monument that dates back to ancient Egyptian times because it is very rare especially that we found a lot of artifacts inside the ship like statues and granite paintings. All the pieces are made from material that can withstand salt water for a very long time. The latest discovery will uncover a lot of clues because this vessel is not a traditional trading ship nor just a military one but a vessel that serves the temple. Archaeologists believe the latest discovery and the technology used by the Egyptian French mission will open the door for more underwater excavations in the near future. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.